Hi, I'm Meg Humphreys. I'm the Wastewater and Sustainability Officer at Western Port Water. And this is our proposal for the Hydrovation Challenge. Assessing teal carbon capture opportunities in a restored wetland filled with recycled water. My name's Jared. I'm a Wastewater Treatment Plan Operator for Western Port Water. So the project that we're looking to do is a wetland project which would rehabilitate and restore the wetland. This is a feasibility study to assess if a wetland can be established on old swamp deposits at our wastewater treatment plant using recycled water and assess if in the process the wetland can also provide a net sink for carbon. This addresses the key challenges of providing beneficial use of recycled water and investigates an avenue to support our sites in becoming carbon neutral. Hi, my name is Sam Weston, the Land and Water Officer at Western Port Water. Our treatment plant is situated on what's called swamp scrub country and after rainfall events you can see down in the lower reaches of the property what resembles a wetland. Freshwater wetlands have rapidly diminished across Victoria from land use change primarily from urban development and agriculture and the science is telling us that teal carbon storage, the inland non-tidal equivalent to blue carbon storage, offers a very real opportunity for carbon sequestration. Hi guys, uh, my name is Renee and I'm a part of the Environment and Sustainability team. A recent cultural heritage assessment has shown that the area was actually once a section of the Bass River, so for traditional owners that's very significant. Historically as well, this area was a hotspot for Aboriginal activity and this is attributed to the high abundance of resources that these types of natural environments bring. Despite the fact that recycled water isn't suitable for use in traditional cultural practices, it can add value to the environment. The benefits of this project are going to be huge for the environment, but also beneficial to Western Port Water. The project also brings multiple co-benefits, such as providing site access for community recreational activities such as bird watching, and will support wildlife with increased habitat that could provide an important refuge from invasive species where we've seen in the past long neck turtle nests on site that have been destroyed by foxes. And in addition, this project has the scope to provide a pilot test site for ongoing quantification of carbon fluxes before and after the wetland restoration works through early engagement with Deakin University's Blue Carbon Lab. This creek, it starts all the way from the Bass Flats and runs out to Western Port Bay, which is a Ramsar listed wetland. So to be able to restore that area could bring great value. The transition to become carbon neutral by 2050 requires innovation, especially given water corporations are Victoria's greatest emitters of greenhouse gases within the public sector, with wastewater management having the largest emission profile. In addition, our wastewater treatment plants continue to face challenges from population growth and encroachment, particularly in wet years where the availability of suitable land for irrigation can be constrained. We're looking at rehabilitating the site which will increase biodiversity in the area, um, increase native wildlife and create habitat, but also create a, a place for Western Port Water to uh, release treated effluent and increase the water capacity in this area. We need to seriously start investing and exploring in a diversity of different approaches that address these challenges across the water sector, looking for project co-benefits that are supported by our customers and community as we transition to a more sustainable future.